In front of me here is um, what is known as the Oxford Vaporizer. And the Oxford Vaporizer was made by Macintosh's department in Oxford uh, at around at the start of the, F the Second World War. Macintosh had uh, worked as an anaesthetist in the Spanish Civil War. And in 1939, he was a maid uh, advisor to the RAF for the whole of anaesthesia in the, for the British forces in the Second World War. And he realized that you needed to have an apparatus that was a draw-over technique using air and ether, uh, and he wanted something a little bit more sophisticated than the flag can. And he came up with this um, device from the department. There's a very sophisticated piece of equipment. It has uh, inside here is a hot water bath, uh, which has a, a, a filling device here. And uh, surrounding, uh, inside that, is a, uh, a tank which contains hydrated calcium chloride. And inside that, is an ether bath. Uh, he got the engineers in Morris to make this as a donation to the war effort in England. And they made something like 5,000 of these devices, which went out free of charge across the um, uh, European um, theater of war. Now, because Mac was um, in charge of the RAF, uh, he this was going to be carried in airplanes. But then there was a problem, because ether was explosive, and they didn't want to put an explosive gadget, unless it was a bomb hanging underneath, on an aeroplane. So Macintosh thought about this, and he, with um, uh, a lot of other workers within his department, then switched to this device, which became known as the ESO, the Epstein Suffolk Oxford Vaporizer, and this is based on chloroform. This was made to be much lighter and much more transportable. And they realized that often the, this sort of apparatus was going to be used by people who weren't fully qualified anesthetists. They were uh, partly trained, enthusiastic people trying to do some good for these injured soldiers. So here we have the, um, uh, the carrying bag, as it were, for this ESO inhaler. And it's covered by this classic sort of army-colored pack. And, and this was because when you shut that up and closed it all off, around the back here, there are straps. And this device was carried by uh, paratroopers. And they either carried it on their backs or on their chests and parachuted with this device into, uh, into the war zone.